Alright gentlemen, here's the deal. So I just got off of work. In my last video I said that the bike was all good and that everything got checked out with the tire and that I fixed the leak and everything was fixed like that, but now it's just not sounding right. It doesn't sound right. It has like this burning smell right over the spark plug cover. Uh, long story short, last week I took it to uh, the shop I usually take it to and told them, listen, you guys did the full service like 1,500 miles ago, not even that long ago, less than six months, and now I think there's something wrong. And they proceeded to be like, yeah, okay, yeah, come bring the bike and we'll check it out. I come in and he writes me a quote for $200, basically, it's $200 just to look at it and see what was wrong. I was like, really? You just did a full service? There's something wrong with it, and there shouldn't be. You said everything checked out, paid five hundred fucking dollars, and now there's something wrong, and you want to charge me another two hundred? I'm done. I'm done with this shop. Okay, <laughs> that is. I understand that you know paying for someone for for their service and their work that they're doing, and that working on motorcycles is not easy. But if I bring in a bike and give you, pay you your full price for a full service, and something ends up going wrong. You should at least, like, be able to give me an idea. The guy couldn't even give me an idea. He looked at it, and he was like, oh, I don't really know what's wrong. He couldn't give me any idea of what it could possibly be or even where to start. So that, along with <laughs> telling me to bring it in and, you know, then asking to charge, like, I'm done. That, that, like, as a good mechanic, I feel like if you do a full service on someone's bike and they bring it in less than six months and they're like, something's wrong, obviously, you know, you can't account for everything that's going to happen to a bike, but... If something's wrong, you would at least check it out and maybe have some sort of idea. So, I'm experiencing the burning smell. I thought it could have been oil that's uh, burning off the headers because it did have an oil leak. Tightened up the oil filter. Really haven't had a leak from that spot anymore. Can't be dripping onto the headers. There's a weird sound. There's like a buzzing. Um, and I really experience the burning smell and the buzzing smell when I get in higher RPMs. Something just doesn't seem right. I've been taking it on the highway. I've been riding it around to work. I don't know what it is. So... They wanted to run a full diagnostics. I'm going to go through my manual and myself run a full diagnosis, diagnostics <laughs> this weekend. I'm going to go through everything, check all the spark plugs, check everything I can possibly check, and try and find out why does it sound weird. It, it, always, is, it always ticks in the beginning when I warm it up. Um, and the guy said the valve clearances were fine, and that was five months ago. So... Honestly, don't know what it could be. I have a burning smell. It's like a rubbery burning smell. I'm going to check all of my wiring. Um, I'm going to check the spark plugs. I'm going to see if something is just not firing. Because, uh, when, like I said, when I get into higher RPMs, is really when I smell that burning. Um, now I've, I've been able to pinpoint it more. Not just when I accelerate. It's once I get really past 5,000 RPMs and I feel like the power is just like tanking. It's just, it just feels like it's not there like it used to be. Anyway. Um, tomorrow, well, by the time you guys see this video, I should have my new video editor um, that I'm going to be picking up this weekend, and I'll be able to finally edit some videos and not have problems with rendering and crashing and all that shit. So, first the bike got fucked up and I had to fix it, and then my video editor went out, and now I'm going to get a new video editor, and now there's something wrong with the bike. So, <laughs> yay! <laughs> You know, it's always some fucking bitch with this thing. That's what I get for uh, buying used off a guy who said it was perfectly good to go. But you know what? It's, a, it's almost 15 fucking years old, man. Like, I know people who have older bikes than that, this. Way older. And they're able to still care for their, their bikes. So I, I have a... I got a good feeling. I know that a lot of shit's been thrown my way. And, you know, it's never going to be easy. But I'm not giving up. 
and I'm for sure am not going to give some guy $200 just to look at the bike and go through it because that's something I can do myself. And while I'm not a professional, I would like to be one day. So this is where I'm going to start on my own fucking bike. Where else should I start, right? I just want to thank you guys for continuing to watch my videos and subscribe to me. I really wish I had more content to put out. I wish I had better stuff to put out. Uh, there's so many things I want to do. And it's like every little thing's holding me back. But I really appreciate um, all the subscribers. Everyone uh, in this community has been super supportive. You guys are awesome. I'll keep you guys updated on what I find, if anything. Maybe it's just all in my head, and I'm just crazy, but I'm pretty sure that something is wrong with the bike. You just know. You just have, a, you just, it's your intuition. It's your gut feeling, and you just like, something does not seem right. Especially a burning smell. If you guys have any idea what a burning smell could be, besides oil on the headers from the spark plugs, it's electrical, I don't, I don't know. Who knows? Ha uh ha. -huh. I love you guys, and I'm going to keep making videos, and keep working out the kinks until this baby's all ready to go because it's got to be ready by october babes right out three it's happening we're going you guys have a fantastic weekend and i will catch you in the next video peace